Those people who blow the whistle often enough just make use of their freedom of expression, period. That's a human right, period. And also freedom of conscience and their freedom of petition. The jurisdiction has to comply with human rights, period. Annegret Folter is an independent journalist and political scientist from Berlin. She's also the chairperson of the Whistleblower Network in Germany. What is a whistleblower and how can your organization support and encourage whistleblowers? A whistleblower is somebody who speaks out on malpractice, on wrongdoing, on dangerous uh, developments in society, be it for the environment or democracy itself. And we support them by giving them advice, by trying to create a better political and societal uh, perception of him or her and create a better situation for him to speak out and report when he thinks it is necessary. Where are the German whistleblowers? That's a, a correct question to ask for a foreigner. You must uh, consider our history. Maybe you remember Thomas Mann. He said the most respected person for Germans is General Professor Dr. Von Staat, state. Huh? So uh, if you have these titles, you're the authority and then you, nobody contradicts. And uh, on the other hand, we have this history of being a society uh, where people voluntarily reported first to the Gestapo during the Nazi regime, sec second uh, then again under the D DDR um, regime uh, to the uh, Stasi, to their secret service. And so you do have to watch out uh, when you report uh, to authorities. You, you did work with some whistleblowers. Did, did they experience any drawbacks in their career or reputation? How, how, how did they face this? Definitely, all of them. They were mobbed, they were, they were dismissed. Uh, and yesterday evening I tried to, to uh, demonstrate that uh, uh, on the case of uh, Miss Heinisch, that nurse who really saw the most obnoxious, uh, watched the most obnoxious situation in an um, elderly care home. She was dismissed again and again with um, all sorts of dismissals without notice, uh, prior notice, etc. And she had the nerve to, uh, to uh, have her lawsuit, to take her lawsuit to the Europe through all levels of jurisdiction in Germany, where she was turned down by every single level to the European Court of uh, Human Rights where she won and uh, that was Heinisch versus Germany that is a very important case because it should have consequences for the German jurisdiction which indeed it does not have to a sufficient degree. I think we need more cases like hers uh, who have the nerve and uh, whistleblowers who have the nerve to proceed uh, to the uh, European Court of Human Rights and uh, win against their Against, in this case against Germany uh, and then be, uh, have the possibility to go back to court in Germany and, and go back to their companies and arrive at a, um, uh, at a compensation, something like that. And I, I made that proposal that we set up a fund for these people and I, I think we will try to, like Whistleblower Network, we'll try to achieve such a fund. Since we're talking about justice, how are the laws like in Germany to protect whistleblowers? Do they exist at all? No law at all. Ever since 2008, we had like five draft laws. And all of them were rejected by the members of parliament of different coalitions, mostly of the coalition in, the coalition in power. They have no interest in being uh, controlled, uh, reported at, etc. How do the laws also look like for, for, um, for an eventual investigative journalist that would expose a major case? In generally speaking, we have good media laws and good protection laws for media. But, uh, I mean, I was just speaking about journalists. What you uh, uh, would have to consider that bloggers are not, so far, are basically not protected. It, it depends whether they... Uh, it's a very complicated regulation and many of these cases go to court. And then again, we have a jurisdiction who can, under general clauses, under huge general clauses, can make 
can set up their own values. And uh, you, as a blogger, you never know what will be the outcome when you accept leaked material. And now we have this new regulation of when you deal with stolen material. And that is a very slippery slope for every journalist because when you get leaked material, once you have it, uh, you never know what the jurisdiction will say, what you do with it. Why doesn't Germany uh, provide a safe harbor for, for Edward Snowden or any other EU country? There is a tremendous transatlantic pressure on uh, European countries. When there is an extradition treaty of a European country with the United States, uh, the person who is in that country has to be, under most political circumstances, has to be extradited to the United States. In most countries there is, uh, there is no political will to, su to support Snowden and get into a conflict with the United States. In Germany there are agreements, there are post-war agreements uh, beyond this extradition treaty which may this makes the situation for him even more insecure in Germany. What is the role of whistleblowers in the promotion of democracy? That is exactly what he or she does. She does not only increase, uh, sometimes uh, uh, information transmitted by a whistleblower is actually the basis for a, a public debate. Take Snowden. I mean, he clearly said, he very clearly said from the beginning, he was not the one to judge on whether or not the NSA had the right to do what they did and whether society wanted to, uh, to, uh, to give away uh, a, a huge amount of their freedom uh, for some security benefits. But it was for the society to discuss that, uh, to decide on that. And uh, that is why he, he leaked that information, these thousands of documents. And uh, first of all, uh, those people who blow the whistle often enough just make use of their freedom of expression, period. That's a human right, period. And also freedom of conscience and uh, their freedom of petition. These are human and uh, these are fundamental rights in the Federal Republic. The jurisdiction has to comply with human rights. And second, uh, you can't even make your, your informed choices when voting without having all the necessary information about the parties you are, you are uh, and about the, the, uh, the parties who are in the, who are, are in power uh, in the coalitions, in the coalition governments, if you don't have information about what that government did or is planning to do. You cannot have journalism without uh, morality. You have to understand what you are looking at and why you think certain things are important.